Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, it's just about noon. I am actually running out and I don't know why I even tried to brush my hair because the simple fact that it's so windy out, it just said all over. But I have to run out and pick up some cat food and litter. And after that, I'm gonna go and get a dog in. Yes, I am. <laughs> so anyways, I just uh, wanted to let you know, uh, number one, thank you. I posted on the community tab. I was shocked to see that in my studio. I'd never seen that before. So that was pretty awesome. It's all because of you guys. Um, let's see. So I watched the, well, I watched the live. Actually, I was told that they were going to go live. Someone reached out to me to let me know at what time they were going to be live. And it didn't go live until it, it was a little later. I guess there was technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, all right. <laughs> um... And I noticed that, you know, in the chat, there were people asking things and there, Jerry talks so much to not answer any questions whatsoever. That dog was a big deflection. Her whole, that somebody, I don't know, contacted her or something. She was gonna get into something. I can't remember exactly what it was now, but then she went on this whole rant of something else. I'm just like, Oh my, it was a train wreck to me. It was, and I, and I hate to say it, it was just a shit, shit show. It was just a reason to do a live. Now you have hypothyroidism. I'm going to go through that video. I'm going to do a reaction to it. Um, Sally was blocked because, and I let her know, there, there was like five or six different Sallys. So I had to find out which, what original one was Sally. And I did unblock her, and she did make a comment that I approved. It's on my community post that I was going to do a reaction. Um, and I like to correct Jim because I'll post a little video where Jim says, Mom's talking to the haters. No, I guess it's not haters, Jim, because the only one I know she's talking to is me, so that would be hate her which is singular not plural hate her and it's not that I'm a hater it's more so that the inconsistencies the things that your wife says how about how about Sally maybe go to the doctors with Jerry to get the real truth how about not having Cece go with Jerry to the doctors how about maybe she's not even going to the doctors. Maybe when they go to the doctor, Cece and, and uh, Jerry, maybe they go, I don't know, out to eat. Maybe they just have a little girl time. You know what I mean? Because something doesn't add up. If a doctor would see that mouth, that mouth is infected. She, she should be biopsied. They should do a culture. There's so much so many things that are so inconsistent that her tongue is still like that for well over a year well over a year and her gums are infected her tooth bro broke off in one live right so if this infection goes through and it could kill her because of a blood infection or something like this woman is slowly killing herself and, and everybody's standing there watching it. And I'm not saying she's slowly killing herself because of the cancer. If there is any cancer whatsoever. She, you know what, Jerry? Just show your, your chemo bottle. Just show that. That shuts people up. You don't do any of that for a reason. Do you want the negativity? Do you want people to keep talking about it? Because I, I damn sure would produce evidence. I've done it before. I've had to produce evidence. So that's where I'm really lost. I'm just like, you want to shut people up. You could shut people up. But no, no, you don't. Because the simple thing is you would um, go ahead and just show the medication you're taking. I'll do a video on all this. You guys know I will. Because I'd rather have it on the screen and have her saying these things than rather than me trying to point these things out to you. But 
give me a minute. I'll be back. Her mom and well, mom's doing good. She's her usual self, which is basically she hangs out in the living room with us with her coke and cigarettes and plays games on her tablets and and other things. Um, one of the things I caught her doing, and I didn't say nothing. I just saw it over her shoulders. Went okay. She is. Um, trying to basically get the haters to realize um, what they're saying is bumpkiss, you know, so, or putting her two cents in with them. Um, but I know she's probably trying to defend me and, and probably trying, uh, probably saying a bunch of stuff about Jerry Ann and her health and, you know, this is serious stuff because I didn't want to uh, believe us at first. Um, as well. All right, got that over with. You know what? <laughs> it's windy, like I said. It um, It's a little chilly. I might have thought of grabbing a coat rather than just wearing the hoodie. But I'm thankful. You know what I mean? You could park kind of close to the store. But wow. Then I'm thinking, wow, is it? You know, because when I walked outside at first, it didn't seem too bad until I started walking down the uh, sidewalk. It's like our body just adjusts, adjusts to the colder weather because normally I'd be really freezing. So I think it's 38. Not that, you know, you're in upstate New York. It's really not that bad, you know, this time of the year. So there's no snow on the ground and people are walking and doing things. So, but just give me 70s. I'm happy with 70s. I'm even happy up to 80. 80 with low humidity, perfect weather. Wouldn't it be great all year long? Just saying. I do have to say, um, I have one more day. It's just one steroid. I do have to say that um, the knee is not as swollen for sure. 100% the knee. And while well, I was just walking in the Dollar General, there's like, there's like a clicking and it's hard to explain with it, you know, what I feel inside, but I just felt something like, kind of like a pop and my knee started bending a little better when I was walking. I was like, Oh, this is great. Now if the numbness in my toes, the burning that are in my toes can go away, that would be phenomenal. Um, I did speak to another neighbor, the neighbor that her husband passed away last year. She asked how I was, she's like, Diane, how you doing? She goes, I see you're kind of walking, you know, and I go, yeah. I go, it's been six months playing it to her. She said, I, you know, she said, I'm 79. I had a total knee revision. And at first I felt great, you know, right after the surgery, but I'm still having the same problems. So I think I haven't done research on the total knee revision. And if I read up on it, and I think it is what I, what I think it is, no, nip that in the bud. This old girl is not doing probably a total knee revision. Just going to be honest. If they can get the pain out of the knee that's worse now than prior to the surgery, then I'm golden. If I can walk without without a limp, like, and no, you can tell there's something wrong with my leg, I'm golden. So, and even if they take the pain away, 50%. I'm golden. Okay? So I just let you know that process with that. I'm going to go grab some coffees and going to go back home. We uh, talked about getting the girls involved with doing some cookie baking. So we're going to make a list. And then I said, well, we could do that at your house. So the mess isn't all at mine. And she kind of chuckled, but uh, the girls already have like little aprons. And so I think we're going to go ahead and start making a list of what cookies to make. The cutouts, I said, I think we'll save them for last. Those are the most messiest and the girls will love cutouts. You know what I mean? And and it's not going to be from a package or anything. It's you know, you know, the homemade. So, but anyways, until later, guys, you know me. I'll be back. As far as I know, I'm doing a video. I noticed Sean asked, it popped up on my screen if I was doing a live. I'm not 100%, but you never know with me, so I'll be back. Bye.